Jonathan Tripp Live, that is a video podcast um, where we talk about business and social media and marketing. Um, but we try to bring in topics and guests that are that are interesting and, and pretty current and very practical. Podcasting, it's because um, it, it's really an evolution that's kind of happened within the show where it was very long, uh, very interactive, um, you know, and, and we would go from topic to topic. But as the show changed and grew, um, we ended up being able to and got a lot better response from those attending and those that listen afterwards that they like the shorter, smaller uh, uh, time frame and the topic being way more specific because they want to get better information in a shorter amount of time. And to me, that is really the essence of a podcast. And because we record it visually, um, it just makes it a video podcast now. Lab Nation Facebook group, that was the community, the online community that came out of when we originally started the show. Um, late 2015. Um, it's really now grown quite a bit and we've added on a Google Plus community as well that's actually growing quickly as well. We chose FireTalk for the, for the show uh, mainly because of stability. It had the chat feature. It had the ability to bring in multiple guests on video. Um, it, it, it had a certain amount of uh, shareability on the different social media platforms, as well as uh, the discoverability um, for, you know, for finding shows and, and for being able to find and share other people's shows as well. Um, and it really just, it made a very good platform that fit our style show in the community that likes to watch it. Our show since going from Blab um, as a hosting platform to going to FireTalk has, it, it's been somewhat of a challenge. And I'll say it in this way, because we had been used to having a certain type of, uh, or a certain quantity of viewers and interaction and, uh, um, you know, different comments and things like this to going to a new platform. And in some ways it kind of felt like we were starting over again but what really happened was is that those that were really uh, pretty dedicated and avid listeners came with us over to Fire Talk, and now we're really just in the process of building it back up, and it's really it's really shown over the last uh, several weeks. Boy, that's a really great question. I think that I have grown as a broadcaster, as a show host, uh, just by doing it as often as I have been, it gives me the chance to try something out, not be really afraid of it. And if it fails or if it doesn't turn out quite the way I, I want, I have, I know I have another show that I can go in and, and try better and practice my craft and, and just learn how to be a better host, a better moderator, and just all around, just being able to roll with the punches and enjoy the event instead of being stressed out that I didn't do it quite perfect this time. I had learned when starting to work in Blab and starting to, to use that as the platform, um, I just came to rely on the technology that was being provided to me. Um, you know, I, I, I had a chat that was there, I had video that was there, and whatever I was given was good enough. Um, but as the transition happened to get away, it, I, I realized and started to, to, to see that, that I needed to do a better job of producing it on my own um, and so that means that being aware of better lighting, having better, much better audio, uh, being able to stream it out to other platforms other than just the platform that I was on, these are all part and parcel with the production side of it um, that, that I thought and I hope that it made the quality of the, the, the video better um, so that the audience can enjoy it. It's, it's better to watch. It's certainly better to listen to. Um, and that's outside of the actual core content, but the actual production part, um, it, it has come a long way in it, but it's taken a, a lot of turns and, you know, sometimes things just did not work at all, but other times it was great and I loved it. I'm not exactly sure where Jonathan Tripp live is going to go, um, over say the next six to 12 months, because there's a lot of possibility. 
Um, and I mean that in a positive way, uh, meaning that it may be actually the focus of the show is to go to less broadcasts, um, but higher quality broadcast. It may include um, tangibly going and adding a podcast. It's it just an audio only podcast side to the show, um, just as a, as a natural development out of it. Um, I do see that, that Jonathan Tripp live as a, as a show will, will most likely become its own entity, a little bit more independent of, hey, let's just chat, which is kind of how it started on Periscope to a uh, it's its own podcast and video cast and things like that. And, and I wouldn't even be surprised if some uh, some amount of courses or other communities uh, sprang out of it just because of what, where the community was asking for. <laughs>